Preseason been short. We've only been in the water for about a week and a half, and our, our first meet is actually this Saturday. So um, we're trying to do as much as we can in, in the shorter amount of time that we have. Um, aerobically, we're, we're really working with the kids to get um, as much in as we can, and also drill work. I, I think it's important, you know, to do drill work to make sure that their strokes are, are refined and, and that we're not missing that that piece of of the puzzle. So, you know, it, it is a little difficult to, to try to fit everything in, but, you know, the kids are working hard. Um, they're really doing uh, pretty well with their drill work and, and, you know, today probably, you know, was our hardest work of the day, our first anaerobic set, which is very difficult. Um, so they're definitely, they're definitely um, moving forward in their progress. Yeah, leadership itself is, yeah, I think, great. The whole senior group, as far as the women go, or I mean, you can almost you can't differentiate them. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're the best swimmer on the team or one of the lesser swimmers on the team. They all have a voice. Um, they all have the respect of everyone on the team. Um, expectations are are pretty high, I think, for us. Last year we kind of went in and and people knew who we were, and expectations were high. And I think I don't want to say that the pressure. The pressure was different for them. It wasn't individual pressure. They felt the pressure of the conference. And I think they learned from that. So this year we're going in with the knowledge of what it takes to win a, a, you know, an individual championship and also what it, what it takes to beat most of the team in, the, in, in, in a relay. And I think they've grown from that. And I think this year our expectations are to try to win a relay and to try to get four or five individual um, event wins this year. I mean, that's definitely a goal and an expectation that we have. On the guy side, you know, um, Brian had a great year last year and, and really surprised us in the distance events. And, and I'm hoping he actually scores this year. And, and Adam um, did really well in his breaststroke, and, and he, he wants to come back and, and try to score again this year. And, and Steven actually, he's a junior. He, um, he didn't swim last year, but he came back uh, his junior year here and, and is swimming really hard. And I would expect him to, to hopefully final in, in his, his fly events and possibly the two free. So. You know, I, I think we're going to be in the mix in, in several different, you know, events and, and with, with uh, several different kids. Well, I, th I think this year we're, go we're focusing on not only working hard, but having a positive attitude. And that starts from me. You know, I need to make sure that, you know, even though we swim every single day at, at 6.15 in the morning, that, you know, I portray a positive attitude. And, and um, I think that'll trickle down to the kids. And, and I already see it working. Um, if you know, po you know, attitude is everything is, as far as I'm concerned. And if you go in there with a positive attitude, even if it's a tough day or you're having a tough practice and you're positive about it, and it, at the end of the day, you know, you said, okay, yeah, that was hard, but I did well. Um, I, I think that's going to go a long way. So, yeah, I think we're going to be a little more positive this year. And I, I think um, it's going to help on our training. And, you know, I, again, I really believe that at the end of the year, you're going to see you know, how well these kids trained and how hard they worked and, and they're going to, again, surprise some people at the conference meet.